Elon Musk wants to reach Mars even before NASA. While the space agency is busy with its Artemis moon landing program, which is planned to be a precursor to a possible Mars expedition in 2030, Elon Musk wants to get there by 2024. It isn't easy going to Mars because you need to have a real powerful rocket with engines to match, but Musk's company SpaceX has the mother of all engines, the extremely powerful Raptor, the showpiece of the SpaceX space program. Yes, the SpaceX Raptor is one of a kind and here's what we can tell you about it. It has been designed to power the Starship rocket. SpaceX's new Raptor engine has been designed to power up its reusable Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy rocket. Both the spacecraft and the Super Heavy launch rocket will have the capacity to take 100 people into space. It could even take them to the Moon or Mars. The Raptor was tested successfully in February 2019 when it powered a prototype of the Starship called the Starhopper. Currently, SpaceX uses Merlin engines on its Falcon 9 reusable rockets, but the Starship program is huge, which is why the company developed the Raptor. This new engine will give the Super Heavy the power boost it requires for launching heavy payloads into space. Man has been on a quest to reach space since medieval times. If you can believe it, man has been dabbling in rocket technology since medieval times. The Chinese, of course, invented the concept when they used gunpowder-filled tubes to launch as projectiles in warfare. But it was a Russian schoolteacher named Konstantin Siolovsky who in 1898 suggested the concept of a liquid propellant to power rockets that could be launched into space. Although not feasible at the time, Siolovsky's theories have become a reality today, which is why he is also known as the father of modern astronautics the first milestone in space. On October 4, 1957, it was the Russians who achieved the first steps into space with their rocket Sputnik 1. Sputnik was the catalyst that triggered a space race. The USA was quick to follow with the Saturn V rocket that eventually landed on the moon. Now, aerospace engineering and development is no more the sole property of NASA and other government agencies. With the creation of SpaceX, several others have followed, like Jeff Bezos's Blue Origins and Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. But while these companies are more interested in space tourism, Elon Musk is focusing on serious things like ferrying people and equipment to Mars. For such an endeavor, you would obviously need a super rocket with a super-powered engine to match. SpaceX's Starship is a stainless steel alloy-based reusable rocket supported by a booster stage called the Super Heavy. The only thing that was needed was an engine to power all these rockets. The Raptor is the most powerful rocket engine on the planet. Today, rocket technology has advanced by leaps and bounds, and while space agencies worldwide have developed technology to land on the moon, walk in space, and ferry people to the International Space Station, the next rendezvous beyond the moon is Mars, and Elon Musk has firmly set his visionary compass to point to the red planet. Currently, the Raptor is the most powerful rocket engine on the planet, and it holds the record for the highest combustion chamber pressure ever reached by an operational rocket engine. It has taken SpaceX several trips to the drawing board and long, long hours of sweat, blood, and tears to finally develop the mother of all engines. The thing about Elon Musk is the man is deeply concerned about our planet. Sustainable and reusable rocket engines would reduce the impact on the environment. It was also a useful resource for NASA because building rocket engines costs billions, so SpaceX was helping them save money. Riding high on the success of the reusable Merlin engines that power the Falcon 9, SpaceX decided to stick to the same technology and improve on it to make the Raptor. The Raptor is twice as powerful as SpaceX's Merlin engines. There's a difference between the Merlin and the Raptor engines. The latter uses an improved system powered by subcooled liquid methane and subcooled liquid oxygen in a full flow staged combustion cycle. Compared to the simpler open cycle gas generator system and LOX kerosene propellants that is used by Merlin engines, it's a big improvement. The unconventional gas cycle was until today used only in experimental rocket technology and development, which means the Raptor is the first engine using this full flow staged cycle to launch rockets into space. This means the Raptor uses oxidizer-rich and fuel-rich pre-burners that allow the full flow of both propellants through its turbines. The Raptor has double the thrust of the Merlin due to the higher pressure at 380,000 pounds of thrust at sea level versus 190,000 pounds. All this even though they are similar in size. This new technology makes the Raptor more powerful and more efficient in carrying heavier payloads into space. Unprecedented Rocket Technology the Raptor engine with its use of liquid oxygen and methane is unprecedented rocket tech. 
Its innovative design and phenomenal power is what will keep SpaceX one step ahead of others. Already, the company has been given a huge boost by winning NASA's $2.9 billion contract to develop the Starship Human Landing System to land people on the moon in 2024. It means SpaceX is being taken very seriously because Elon Musk's vision and SpaceX's tech coincides with NASA's aerospace endeavors, which are also aiming for a mission to Mars. The Raptor will be SpaceX's ace when it comes to exploring the solar system. No other engine can produce the power that the Raptor can. According to several experts, there's no other rocket engine capable of producing the kind of power and energy as the Raptor, which is all set to be a game-changer in rocket technology. What makes it so beneficial to any space program is the fact that it's reusable with little or no refurbishment, meaning it can be used for several space trips without needing a lot of money or resources to fix or upkeep it. And if, or rather when, a Mars colony becomes a reality, the program will need an engine like the Raptor that can ferry spacecraft loaded with heavy equipment equipment to the Red Planet. So, what do you think? Will humans set foot on Mars now that we have rocket tech like the Raptor? Tell us what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Tech Division.